So tonight I solved a real world Power BI problem and I wanna to talk to you about it. So what is it? Well, when you have a Power BI ref data set that's scheduled to refresh and it fails four times in a row, Power BI will disable that refresh. Now, why is that a problem you might ask? Don't we want a refresh to be disabled if it's failing? Well, sometimes. You see, what if there's no problem with the actual data set itself? What if the Power BI or the server that your Power BI file is connecting to is just down for maintenance on a weekend and you have a super critical report? Wouldn't you want to re-enable it? Well, the, data, the function that I just wrote does just that. You can feed it a report name and it can go to a workspace and re-enable the refresh with just a click of the button. In fact, you could even probably configure it to run in a loop, to loop through all the data sets in a given workspace and make sure that they're all enabled. That way you know that your critical reports are all fully enabled and they're not just disabled because someone in IT took down a server and forgot to tell you. So with that, let's jump into the code and let me show you how it works. All right, so here's the function. First things first, we're going to use semantic link to get the data set ID from the report name when it's called. So the function takes a report, either a report you did or a report name and a report workspace, either a report the you did of that workspace or the name of the report workspace. It then returns a data set ID. We then submit a API request to the data sets with that data set ID for refresh schedule. But instead of going a post, we're using a patch function to essentially deliver a JSON payload of enabled to re-enable the workspace. And then we let it know that, that payload is in JSON. If the API request returns successful, the function then returns true. Otherwise it prints the error and it returns false. So let me go ahead and let me show you a real world example. Here is my semantic model color picker. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disable it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. So that way you know that the refresh schedule is completely disabled. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna run my function. Here you can see I'm feeding it in the report name and the report workspace that's connected to that semantic model. They return true. And if I now go and I re-refresh this, what you'll notice is doo -doo 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 -doo, if I now go into my refresh, it's now re-enabled. So with that, you've reached the end of the video. The code is linked in my GitHub down in the video description. I hope you find it useful. If you're interested in Python, SQL, Power BI, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.